Hello and welcome to my channel Tech with Eddie, which is all about integrating your IoT devices with your preferred smart home ecosystem. In today's video, we will integrate the Anki NC400 using RTSP and stream the live feed to Apple HomeKit as well as a quick integration with your Synology NAS. Now, there are tons of plugin tutorials that I have done. So do take a look and don't feel shy to hit the like and subscribe button to always follow along. Now, a big shout out going out to Anki for sending me this product to integrate it with Apple HomeKit. Now, I have broken down the video into three parts with the timestamps in the description. They are one, a product overview and a quick setup. Two, the HomeKit plugin configuration to stream the live feed. And three, a quick Synology integration as well. Now for all of this to work with Apple HomeKit, we will use the hoops out of the box to complete this integration. So let's not waste time my friends and let's jump into this tutorial. The NC400 comes into this blue box, tightly packed and also the 100 feet uh, network cable that, come, that came along with it, which is around 30 meters. Now, when you open up the box, you get the standard packaging of the alert, the uh, template, as well as additional screws to, uh, uh, to mount the camera. And also a manual that takes you step by step to install this camera. Now, the start of the show is the NC400 through full color night vision camera. It is supported by PoE as well as a DC 12 volt input. Now, when you look at the camera, it's made out of metal casing and very durable at the same time which gives you an IP67 rating as well. You can also swivel it and also angle the camera based on your needs. Now let's go into the product specification of what this camera has in it. Now, when we talk about the product specification, the first one is the image sensor. This itself increases 180% of photo sensitive areas. It has this A1 image sensor. The second one is the aperture, which comes along with the F1.0 super aperture, captures more light for brighter images. It also ensures full color night vision in total darkness with 100 feet warm supplement light. It also brings accurate adjustment within four pixels, giving you that active alignment technology. You can also receive instant app pushes and email alerts with the smart motion alerts that is installed in the camera. And it's also weatherproof, giving you that IP67 and all metal housing being resistant for both cold and hot weather conditions. Now let's quickly go into the video demo showing what this all gives you. All right, to quickly set up this camera is very straightforward. All we have to do is go to the Anki.com website and you have to click into support and go down all the way to download center and also to software. And the first thing, depending on which platform you are, you are on, on Windows or Mac, in our case it will be on Mac. So you want to go ahead and download this tool first called SADP. What does this do? This identifies the camera and brings it onto your network and also shows you what IP address it's using. So you want to go ahead, open the SADP pool, say allow, and it will show you the camera over here. Now, when you're going ahead for the first time to set this up, there's a couple of permissions that you have to allow when you're on uh, the Mac platform. So please make sure you do that as well. Now, when you uh, select the camera, you can go ahead and give the assigned address and also uh, what network you wanted to join. If you enable the DHCP, every time it uh, boots up or resets, it will go ahead and get one IP address. But we're just going to leave it as uh, this one, which I have reserved on my router. Now, once you get the camera set up already on network, okay, uh, we can also go and access the link using 192. Dot one six eight dot eight six the IP address that we had enabled, and you're going to get the interface over here. Let's log in, and this is the same password when you add it within your SADP tool. So let's log in over here. So this is the camera and the feed. 
Now, what happens is when you're using Mac, the web component plugin does not work. So if you're on Windows, you need to download a web component plugin. Natively, it does not import the video to the web UI. So you have to download a plugin. It's not compatible with Mac. It's only compatible with uh, PC. So you want to make sure, depending on your platform, you may have some difficulty configuring, configuring the camera based on the platform. Now, once you have entered the link, you can go to configuration and you can also go ahead and update the password over here. And some of the additional features that I've left as it is, is the video all in its originality, didn't change any of the settings. Uh, with the events, I left it, I've cleared all and left uh, to the surveillance station to do all of the detection and a uh, system. So uh, if you're on PC, there is one more option available over here called local. You want to make sure you've, you've chosen TCP settings. Okay. And this way it will enable the uh, live streaming to HomeKit. So this was the setup to add the cam into your uh, network. No more, no less. And from here, we'll go into the HomeKit configuration to stream the feed live into Apple HomeKit and also configure that as well. So let's get into that configuration. Now, for the configuration into uh, Apple HomeKit, the first thing you want to do is configure the RTSP feed because without this, you won't be able to successfully move the uh, feed to Apple HomeKit. RTSP stands for Real Time Streaming Protocol. You can look up online. I also have some videos on that. To do to find out the RTSP link, we need to go to this website called iSpy Connect. I have the link in the description. Now, within this uh, website, you're going to go to More Devices and you're going to go to the letter A and you're going to look for a and -N -K -E, and we're going to open up this link. There are tons of protocols to stream the feed. But what we have done is since we know the IP address, we are going to select the ones that I have tested. And the one that I've come across is this one where we have got the configuration. So we're going to give a username and password and we're going to select this just to check on how the RTSP feed works. But if you go ahead and select any one of these, in this case, um, this one, all we got to do is say type in the IP address and we're going to give the username and password that we had created in the SADP tool and we're going to say generate. So we just have to copy this link and check in VLC if it works. So I've already done that configuration and we're going to copy this. We're going to open up VLC, go to file, open network, paste, say open. So this is the feed right now that uh, is already enabled. I've connected the camera, very rich uh, images, very clear, crystal clear. The only downside is there is no audio enabled. It's only a video feed that you can capture, but it's very clear, very real as well. So this confirms that the RTSP link is working and we can use the same link to configure into Apple HomeKit. So I'm going to close the link over here and I've gone ahead with the configuration. And if you see over here, I've given the name, the manufacturer, the model, and also I've enabled the motion sensor and the timeout of 60 seconds. Now within the video configuration, I've given it the source. So that's the same link that we just tested and also the still image source. What is the still image source? Every time you open up the Apple Home app, this will capture the latest image and show it to you without even opening up the camera feed. And I've also enabled the max stream of two, so two simultaneously devices uh, can receive the feed. And I've given the max width and height and a very lower resolution. This is because just to see the feed, but if you want to capture it, we can also go into Synology and give the real config, uh, configuration of the width and height. And also given the uh, maximum frames per second of 15. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first copy this. I'm going to go into hoops and uh, I've already logged in into the user interface and I'm going to select the plugin. And I'm going to scroll all the way down. So within the camera section over here, all I'm going to do is paste it. Okay. No errors. And I'm going to say save changes. 
So once these changes are completed, this, this will give you the ability to stream the feed live into Apple Home. Okay, now let's go and uh, test that. So I'm going to open up Apple Home. Those are all my plugins. And let's see if the image and the feed is going to live stream. So there we are, we can see the stream live. Now remember, I have reduced the resolution just for the sake of streaming it into the um, Apple Home Kit. If you want, you can uh, increase the max width and height, but depending on your network and how it is connected, it's going to take some time to load. So I've reduced the resolution just to give me uh, instant uh, feed into Apple Home Kit. Now this itself confirms that I've successfully able to import the live feed from the Anki NC400 into Apple HomeKit. Now what we can do with this feed as well, we can go into automations and we can also use the sensor that comes along with it to enable any of our lights based on security time and day. So in this case, I uh, detects motion any, uh, in the, uh, let's say at night, I can go to next and I can turn on certain scene. So with this, what I have done, I've got an individual external security camera. I'm able to customize it and bring all of this information into Apple HomeKit. But you'll really need a DIY platform to do all of this work. So this way, I have taken a security cam and brought it into Apple HomeKit. Now, what if you have a Synology NAS? and you want to uh, capture the image into Synology NAS and use its alerts into Apple HomeKit. You can do that as well. Now let's go into that Synology NAS configuration. Now for the Synology NAS configuration, I had, I had done a video using the Ycam. The steps are going to be the same, but I just want to show you how you can import the camera, configure, go to the initial configuration, and I will also attach the link to that video to add in automations, expose this camera as a sensor to HomeKit and also enable the home mode when you leave your home. So let's quickly go into the uh, surveillance station and do this configuration as well. Let's log in to our Synology NAS. Now, if you're wondering, this is the DSM uh, 7.0 that I have installed. It's still in beta phase. And I think very soon they're going to release the uh, official version. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to start, the start of uh, the DSM. And you want to make sure you have the surveillance station already installed and uh, running. So once that's done, it says it's perfectly uh, works well with Chrome, but we're going to use Safari. We're going to close this and we're going to go to IP camera. And if you want, we can go to uh, add and add a camera and we have the camera over here. So you can use the credentials, username and password, test the connection. You can also go into the video feed and you can also update the resolution that you want to bring into the surveillance system. So you can change these values as well. And there's some advanced settings you can do. And some of the recording settings, just in case you want to run some schedules, streaming, again, this is all very customizable. And also your live uh, view settings within the surveillance station. And also in the event you want to enable uh, your event detection, we can do that as well. So there it is. And uh, we can clear it and we can add in some detections over here so as and where you want it these are the active detection zones if anybody comes in over here it will record the content once that is done we can close this and this actively uh, uh, enables the anki camera into the surveillance station so these are the two feeds now when you do this, you are also enabling, you're using your current network attached storage like Synology and uh, getting in those feeds. Now, if you check the link up over here, you can use the uh, plugins, the Synology plugins to expose these cameras as sensors, as well as enable home mode when you leave your house. So this way your cameras can kick in with their security 
and also uh, ensure that uh, when you are away or when you're close to a house, you can turn on and off certain cameras. Now this way with this camera, what we have done is import into Apple HomeKit using a DIY platform and getting the best of it and also making sure you get the right amount of security for your home and your loved ones. Finally, there we are. Collaboratively, we have integrated the Anki NC400 into Apple HomeKit and your Synology NAS. Now, if you want to get one of these, I have left a link in the description and this will also help with the channel. Now, to keep all of this going, please don't feel shy to hit the like and subscribe button to always follow along because that's the real driver, that's the real motivator for me to bring all of this content. And if there's any question or doubt that you have, don't feel shy to leave a comment down below. I'm glad to assist. And don't forget to, to visit the developer's webpage and give them your support as well. So until the next time, my friends, stay safe, have a nice day, cheers, and happy automation.